Hi, yes, good morning to you both. We did just hear from Hartford police at the top of our five o'clock show, and they tell us, of course, as you just mentioned, the two people who were shot and killed in this case right here on Barker Street were brothers, just 19 and 20 years old. Now, police tell us it all happened here on the second floor of this three family home. We're told it's an apartment on the second floor. That's where the two brothers were found with multiple gunshot wounds right here at 15 Barker Street just before one o'clock in the morning. Now, the officers who got here provided medical attention to the victims until EMS got here and took them to the hospital where they were pronounced dead. Now, at this point, police believe someone or people, whoever did this, entered through the back of the house and they do believe that it was a targeted attack. So they don't feel that there's any risk to the general public at this point. They have no information to give out at this point on any suspects right now. However, Lieutenant Aaron Borzivert with the Hartford Police Department does tell us that they do believe that the suspect or suspects have left the immediate area. Of course, we'll be looking for updates from him later on this morning. Now, this also now marks the 37th and 38th homicide so far this year. It's been a particularly violent one, according to police. Take a listen to what they had to say just about an hour ago. It, it's a violent year. Um, shootings, believe it or not, are down. And, and I, I know that's not any, any consola consolation to anybody, but the, the violence continues. I mean, our shooting numbers are down. More people are getting hit by the gunfire. Um, it, it's very concerning. That's it's not just Hartford. Uh, every, every city is dealing with this, unfortunately. Taking a live look at the scene here, you can see that police do have the home blocked off. They even have the home sitting next to it blocked off, as well as another what looks like abandoned building right near the corner of Barker Street and Weathersfield Ave, a popular street here in the south end of the city. Now, police tell us that they have not released the identity of the two brothers who were killed. However, they tell us that they will release those as soon as it's confirmed. They tell us they did notify their family and we believe their family was actually here on the street earlier, obviously upset by what happened. Now, we also want to mention that this is less than 24 hours after two people were shot in downtown Hartford, right on Buckingham Street. Now, police tell us that they do not believe that those two incidents are connected. But once again, just a stream of violence happening. Four people shot, two of them killed in less than 24 hours here in Hartford. We're live in Hartford. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.